Hey my lovely friends, welcome to Creative Art. I am Nilima and in today's tutorial, we are going to make this beautiful spice and orange resin tray. This tray is one of the rarest and most beautiful resin trays you can ever see because this can only be handmade. So friends, do watch the complete tutorial to make this beautiful spice and orange resin tray for yourself and do subscribe to Creative Art for more creative art tutorial and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any update on a recent art form. Now let's check out all the ingredients we need. To make this beautiful resin tray, these are all the different materials I'm going to use this time. You can skip one or two materials depending on what you can find on the right time. So first of all, for resin, we are going to use Expo Art Resin from Little Birdie. It comes in two different parts, clear resin and resin hardener. So this has to be mixed in two to one ratio. That means two parts of clear resin plus one part of hardener. And friends, the best thing about this resin is if you're using it in a small quantity, you don't need to use a weighing machine. You can simply measure it using a measuring spoon. But if you're going to use it for a big tray like this one, where in all you're going to need at least a thousand grams of a resin. So this time I'm going to use an electronic measuring scale for measuring this resin. Next is the silicone mold cup. You can also use a paper cup for mixing resin and a few ice cream sticks. For mold, I'm going to use this huge 16 inch tray mold and this is how big it looks. I'm going to place it aside and for handles, I'm going to use these beautiful golden finished handles. These are two handles. It also, this pack also have screws. Next, for the decoration part, we're going to need one fresh orange, which I have already prepared and kept ready. And I do have three different types of spices. This is called star flower. We do call it star flower cinnamon sticks. And this is biryani fool. That's what we call in Hindi, biryani fool. I have a few dried hydrangeas, a few white filling flowers, and a few green leaves for the decorative part. And always to add some bling bling, I love to use gold foil in resin to give that beautiful gold shimmering look to our resin art. And finally, here I have my book of dried flowers. These are a few roses I have in it. Then next are a few orchids. Sometimes I also like to just spray some alcohol ink on them to keep them bright and beautiful like this you have this beautiful flower then again some some carnation some orchids some lilies so this is all my dry flower collection that i currently have if needed we'll also use few dry flowers all these materials will be linked and listed in the description box below from where you can buy them online and friends, if you use my code, which is NILIMA5, N-I-L-I-M-A-5, you will get an additional 5% off on entire purchase from Itsy Bitsy. Now let's start the tutorial, friends. Now let's cut the orange using a sharp knife. Try to make some nice and smooth slices. Okay, now here we have all the beautiful, beautiful orange slices. Now one by one, gently arrange all these pieces on an oven tray like this. Make sure to keep a paper napkin. So now this is how all the pieces looks on the tray when I have arranged it on a paper towel. Now we are going to keep this tray in oven on 100 degrees Celsius for just half an hour and let them all get dry. Now I have put the tray in oven and then set it for one hour on 100 degrees Celsius. Now 
now this is how i have prepared my resin tray which is actually inside a big wooden tray which i recently bought and i have also placed a plastic covering like this on this tray so that no dirt would fall on my resin tray while it is getting cured now first of all let's start by measuring some clear resin for that i'll place an empty cup on our measuring unit Press the button to tear zero. So first of all, I'm going to add at least 100 grams of clear resin in our container. And 100. So here we have got finally 100 grams of resin. Then add 50 grams of hardener, which will make it complete 150. So here you have got the ratio of resin and hardener which is two parts of clear resin and one part of hardener. So here we are adding 100 grams of clear resin and then 50 grams of hardener. The same process can also be done using a measuring spoon for which you can use two spoons of clear resin and one spoon of hardener. And then finally, we have to mix it really well. So here I'm going to use an ice cream stick and mix the complete content for at least 5 minutes. Now here I have completed mixing my resin and this is how clear and beautiful it looks. My tray is entirely clean. So I'm going to start pouring my clear resin all around the tray in this way. This is my first layer of resin and it has to spread to all the corners. And in the same container of resin, I'm going to add two sheets of gold foil. And gently mix it. And this is how it will look. Now using the same ice cream stick or a spatula, spread the resin all around this tray in this way. Now I'm going to use a torch gun to pop out all the tiny bubbles. Now one by one, I'll start arranging the oranges. Now it's a perfect time to add the gold resin we prepared. Try to add it in all the empty areas. And then let it flow. Now using a spatula or ice cream stick, move the gold resin everywhere where you want okay i think it looks fantastic now i'm going to add a few green leaves here and there Now I'm going to add these beautiful hydrangeas. Adding these teeny tiny hydrangeas using a tweezer. Now 
now i think uh, the tray looks completely filled and entirely beautiful so so beautiful so now friends i'm going to cover it up and let it get dry till at least 10 hours and then pour one more layer of resin after pouring resin it's been 24 hours and this is how i did cover my tray to protect it from any dust or hair and now friends it's time to pour my next layer of resin and in the same way i have mixed my next 200 grams of resin this is how it looks i gave it a very nice mix till at least five minutes to get this beautiful consistency and now i'll start pouring it from corner now this time you have to make sure that you're pouring enough amount of resin on all the spices and oranges and flowers we have placed so everything gets covered up in resin. Gently scooping out all the resin. now friends I'm going to use my torch gun to gently torch all the resin so that any tiny bubbles in it may get popped up. Okay so this much torching would be enough and now I've let this resin stay for at least 10 hours and then we are going to pour one more layer of resin. Now in the same way I have mixed more 400 grams of resin and now I'm going to divide it in a small container like this so that we can mix some gold foil in this small container. And now I'm going to add two gold foils in this small container. Now add one more. And then gently mix it in this resin. This is how it will look. I'm going to open the seal cover. First of all, I'm going to pour a little amount of clear resin on all the oranges. And the parts where I don't want the gold foil. And now let's pour the gold foil mixed resin. If you think you have a little less or more somewhere, you can easily transfer it or drag it right now. I'm going to pour the clear resin everywhere it is needed. Let everything get submerged in this resin. And then gently spread out the resin to all the corners so that there's a very even and smooth layer all over. Then using an ice cream stick spread out the resin to all the corners where you want and you can also move the gold foil from where you don't want it to be to where you want it to be. So I'm going to do this step gently. In this way now I have used the gas torch to pop out all the bubbles and then let it rest for more 10 to 12 hours and now finally friends I have completed mixing my last 300 grams of clear resin this is how it looks and this final pour will fill up the complete tray so mix it very well so that the top of the tray is really really smooth I'm going to pour it in all the sides And this final pour is going to submerge everything in this tray. So the final top is going to be really really smooth. Scoop out everything you got in this jar. Okay now I'm going to use the same spatula 
spread out the resin in all the directions. Make sure that the resin goes in all the corners. After spreading out the resin all around the tray, this is how it looks. The tray mold is completely filled till its capacity and this is how it looks. It's really going to be very very bulky. So now friends, let's do the last popping out of bubbles using this gas torch. Okay, this much would be enough and then I'm going to cover it up and let this resin set for at least 24 hours and then I will show you how does it looks. Okay, now it's finally been 24 hours after we poured the resin so I'm expecting it's completely cure. Let's just touch. Yes, wow. It absolutely looks like a glass and you can clearly see how beautiful, rich and bright it looks. So I'm going to lift up my tray from right here. Let's see. Wow, it's quite heavy. And now friends, gently just start separating the silicone mold sides like this. It comes out really, really easy. Very easily it comes out from all the sides. Keep rotating the tray and keep separating the mold. And now finally friends, from one side of the tray, just hold the tray and gently separate the bottom silicone mold. It comes out really easy, like this. Wow, now this is one solid piece of tray now let's attach these beautiful pair of handles to our tray so we can start using this tray in our daily life and for that i'm going to use a hand drill which looks like this it is easily available on amazon and on different sites this is the drilling part and this is the handle part that you have to hold in this way place it on the location for example if i want to drill in here and then you have to hold the handle in this way and gently press. You can see that this screw actually goes inside this handle. And if you continue this series of drilling, you will be able to make a nice hole. So as this hand drill comes in quite small size as compared to the hole we need, I have done here three holes and then using a screwdriver, I made that hole bigger so that we can insert our screw through this hole. I have already dug two holes exactly as I marked. So these two holes are perfect for this handle. Now let me turn and show you the tray. This is how the tray looks from the back side. These are the two holes and these are the two screw that I got with this handle. So place this screw and using a screwdriver I'm going to fix them on place. Insert both the screws only till the halfway till you can see or feel the screw. And now insert this handle to the part of screw in this way. And then start tightening the screw more deep into the handle in this way. So this screw part should go inside these two holes as you can see in this handle. Okay. And then finally tighten up all the four screws completely in those handle holes till all the four screws are at the same level so, so that your tray looks in the same level. Okay, this is tight. Let's turn it out. And yeah, this is how you can hold this tray. Nice, right? From the side. You get a lot of space in the center part to place all the things you want. And now friends, this is how beautiful and bright our orange and resin spice tray looks. I'm so, so satisfied and happy to see this tray come out so beautifully. I absolutely love all the bright colors of oranges, hydrangea flower and the look of spices. They really add such beautiful color and one green leaf. 
that makes this tray look so beautiful and natural looking as if all the ingredients are frozen in glass. I can definitely say this beautiful tray is a one of a kind in resin tray. So why not make one for yourself? So friends, do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial and if you do like my tutorials friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.